hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll look at how to capture or how to sniff network traffic on a Wi-Fi network and we'll be doing this on a Kali Linux machine now the first requirement is to have a wireless adapter that's able to be put into monitor mode we can check the status of our wireless or Wi-Fi adapter and we'll use two commands I'll start with the IF config this is the wireless adapter right here and it's got an IP right now. Now to check the mode it's operating in, we'll use iwconfig. It says here that it's in managed mode. We need to be able to change this to monitor mode. So that's gonna be our next step. So we'll do sudo. The command is gonna be mon ng. We can quickly look at the options available. It says we can start the monitor mode, we can stop and we can also check. Let's go ahead and run that command. You can say start, and then we have to verify the interface right here. The name is WLAN0. It might generate an error. Now we'll check the status, status again. We'll use the two commands we used prior, fconfig. As you can see, the name has changed, WLAN0mon, and now it doesn't have an IP address. And if you look at uh, iwconfig, the mode has also changed to monitor mode. Now we can go ahead and start to monitor or to see what Wi-Fi or wireless networks are within our range. And the command to do that will be, or we'll do sudo, it's gonna be arrow dump and g. And then here we'll just specify the interface, wlan 0 mon. We can stop that using Control C, and as you can, as you can see here, there's many um, Wi-Fi or wireless networks within our, our range. Now, this gives us a lot of information: the BSS ID, which is the MAC address for the wireless router, the power, which is kind of gives you an idea of how far away that is. The smaller the value means it's that's closer. For instance, this is for hours. This is a wireless. Uh, router so the, the value is smaller you see the beacons here uh, the channel so we'll need the channel and the bss id to do a targeted uh, sniffing and then there's a, the encryption type here wpa2 wpa3 and so on authentication type pre-shared key then there is the name of the wi-fi or wireless network so we'll target our own here so i'm gonna i'll target this right here We'll do the command which will specify this MAC address and this channel. So I'm going to actually highlight this and copy. Then I'll run the command. So the command is going to be the same. It's just that I'm going to have to specify the, like I say, the channel number and the BSS ID, which is the MAC address of the wireless router. So it's going to be arrow dump and G. Say the channel 2. BSS ID, paste, now uh, we'll do write, we'll write this output to a file, and we'll give you a file name, we'll go with this one, Wi-Fi Capture 1, then we have to specify the interface for the uh, wireless adapter, press enter, and as you can see now here, we also have an output for the stations. So depending on how many end devices that are communicating to that wireless router, the information is going to be uh, captured. As we can see here, we have three different devices. This is the MAC addresses on this particular Wi-Fi or wireless network. So I'll do a control C to end the capture. And now since we already stored the capture on a, on a file, it should be stored in the same directory we, work, we are working in. I can do ls-l to see what files were generated. So we have three different files right here. They all start with the Wi-Fi capture one. There's a .cap file, .csv file, and three other files. Now, the, one of the files that we can actually look in inside is the .cap file, and we can use Wireshark to open this file. So we'll go ahead and open Wireshark, which we can use to do packet analysis. Now, once we have Wireshark open, we can go to File, Open. We'll go to wherever that .cap file was stored. 
which, which is on our desktop here. I'll double click on it and it should show us the different packets that were captured with our command. Now here we have different packets depending on the MAC address. You can verify what device it is. You can look inside the packet for more information. Now one, one thing to take note of is that since this is a, an encrypted environment, you won't be able to see uh, the contents. Since the communication here on this Wi-Fi or wireless network is, is encrypted, you will see what kind of packets are being transmitted on the network. But unless it's an open network where there's no encryption, you won't be able to read or see the inside of the packets unless you're able to break into the that network and find the password. So that's pretty much it. That's how you capture packets on a Wi-Fi network. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks. Bye.